In Pike County, shocking new testimony from Jake Wagner was heard in court today as he took the stand for a third day in the murder trial of his brother, George Wagner IV. And NBC4's Jonathan Jackson was there. Jonathan, did the defense have a chance to question Jake Wagner on the stand? Yeah, they did, Jen. They specifically asked him about George's involvement in these murders and asking him whether or not that he was coerced into it by his family, which they argued that he was. Let's take you inside the courtroom. During cross-examination, George's defense attorney asked Jake whether George had argued against the idea of killing the Roden family, and Jake responded saying yes, that he was. The defense also asked Jake whether George killed anyone on that night in 2016, to which Jake responded no, saying only him and his father, Billy Wagner, shot and killed eight members of the Roden family. Family, adding that George hesitated to pull the trigger. Now later, the defense questioned Jake on the nature of his plea deal, despite George being on trial for murder. And they asked him if he realized that he'd been given one of the best plea deals in Ohio's history, to which Jake responded saying yes. All right, so Jonathan, let's go back to the prosecution now. How did they finish their questioning today? Well, Jen, specifically, they said that they wanted to uh, ask Jake whether his whole family was involved in committing and covering up these murders. And Jake did confess on the stand that they all were, including George. Now, Jake confessed that throughout his testimony, his whole family had agreed on an alibi to tell police that they were all at home on the night of the murders. He also said that George helped him with burying their weapons after those murders. And Jake later said that those weapons and several rounds of ammunition were placed into concrete buckets on their grandparents' lake property. Jake then said his family never spoke about the crimes afterwards, but that his father, Billy Wagner, did come to him once asking if he regretted their actions. Now, Jake says he lied to his father, telling him he had no regrets out of fear that his dad might retaliate or even commit suicide. And Jonathan, since the beginning of the trial, we've been talking about this the last couple of days. There's been scrutiny over certain witnesses opting out of showing their faces or having their voices recorded on camera. You're one of the few people to actually see him on the stand. So what's the latest on whether the public is going to actually get to hear directly from him? Well, Jared, before testimony today, the court actually held an appeal hearing from members of the media asking that and really requesting that all witnesses, including Jake Wagner, be allowed to show and have their recording on tape. Now, what happened today in court was that appeal was actually denied by the judge. And due to Ohio Supreme Court law, that ruling is allowed. So therefore, moving forward in this trial, witnesses who choose to opt out of having their face or voice recorded on camera will be able to do so. Local for you in Waverly, I'm Jonathan Jackson, NBC4. Interesting, Jonathan. Thank you. NBC4 has been following this case ever since it broke more than six years ago. For complete coverage of the trial and the events leading up to it, visit our website, NBC4I.com.